Are you using DX Operational Intelligence and DX Spectrum and wondering how you can get all the information in one place? Well, then watch this video to learn how you can integrate DX Spectrum to analyze, correlate, and proactively resolve the network issues and display the data on DX Operational Intelligence. DX Spectrum integrates with DX Operational Intelligence using Spectrum Data Publisher. The Spectrum Data Publisher collects and sends alarms, inventory, groups, which is global collection, container, and metric data, to DX Operational Intelligence. Observe in DX Operational Intelligence there are no alarms showing up from DX Spectrum. Before you begin the integration, ensure DX Spectrum instance is installed. Primarily, there are three steps involved in this integration process. Installing Spectrum Data Publisher, configuring the Connector Config File and DOI Config File, and validating the integration. Now let's begin with the installation of Spectrum Data Publisher. Navigate to the Spectrum one-click console to download and install the Spectrum Data Publisher jar file. Note the Spectrum Data Publisher version should be the same as the version of DX Spectrum. Access the Administration page and then select Analytics Configuration page. Click the Spectrum Data Publisher hyperlink to download the same. Double-click to open the Spectrum Data Publisher installer file. The Spectrum Data Publisher wizard launches. Click Next. By default, the Spectrum Data Publisher gets installed in the Win32 app folder. However, you can change it to your desired location. In this situation, let's proceed with the default. Click Install. Once the installation completes successfully, click Done to exit the installer. We must now configure the Connector Config File and the DOI Config File for the Spectrum Data Publisher which would enable DX Spectrum in pushing the data in DX Operational Intelligence Platform. So navigate to the Win32 app, Spectrum Data Publisher, and then Config Folder. Open the Connector Config file using Notepad++. Now edit the DX Spectrum one-click host server details in the Spectrum Configuration section. To find the host name, let's navigate to the Administrator page of Spectrum One-Click Console. Copy the host name from the browser address bar and paste it in the Connector Config file. Update the One-Click port number, which is 8080 in this scenario, and ensure that One-Click protocol is HTTP. Scroll down and enter the Jarvis server details. To get the destination host name, you must navigate to OpenShift Web Console. Click Applications and select Routes from the menu. Scroll down to find Jarvis Routes 8080. Copy the host name and paste it in the Connector Config file. Update the destination port to 80 and ensure the destination protocol is HTTP. To get the destination default tenant name, you must navigate back to OpenShift Web Console and search for ES root 9200 and open the host name URL in the new tab. Copy the tenant ID and paste it in the connector config file. Note you cannot access the tenant ID outside the company firewall. Save the changes. For multi-tendency, open the DOI config.xml file from the same config folder using Notepad++. To fetch the destination data source name, once again navigate to the OpenShift web console, search for esroot9200, and open the hostname URL in a new tab. As earlier, copy the tenant ID and paste it in the DOI config file. Ensure that the destination data source port is 80 and destination data source protocol is HTTP. Then save the changes that are made in this file. Once you finish editing the configuration file, you need to run the batch file of Spectrum Data Publisher. Execute the run.bat start command in the command prompt. First time, it prompts you to create a password for Spectrum Data Publisher. Enter a password of your choice. 
Note, you need to use this login password next time when you run the run.bat start command. After creating a login password for Spectrum Data Publisher, it asks for one-click username and one-click password, which will be encrypted and decrypted. Enter the details to proceed. Next, it will prompt for the destination username and password. You can enter or ignore to proceed. You may receive a warning message. Click Yes to allow the Spectrum Data Publisher to run. Now that we have made the required configuration in Spectrum Data Publisher, let us verify if the Spectrum data is getting pushed into DX Operational Intelligence Platform. Navigate to Log File and open the Spectrum Data Publisher file using Notepad++ to verify if the Spectrum Data Publisher was successfully installed without an exception. Observe there were no exceptions. This indicates that the Spectrum Data Publisher is successfully installed. Log in to DX Operational Intelligence Platform using the tenant ID you created for integrating DX Spectrum. Now, to validate the flow of Spectrum data, click Alarm Analytics. Let's set a filter to view the Spectrum data of one week range. Scroll to view the Source Product column and observe it shows the data source as Spectrum, which indicates that DX Operational Intelligence Platform is showing DX Spectrum monitoring data. In this way, using the Spectrum Data Publisher, you can integrate and push data from DX Spectrum to DX Operational Intelligence Platform. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.